Right, we are going for two slightly controversial reviews in one day, so bear with me. Benchmade Weekender. Now, those of you who've watched some of my other videos on my channel know that I like Benchmade knives particularly. Uh, Benchmade Swap Joints. I like Swap Joints generally. Uh, I do own some Benchmade uh, locking knives, the uh, Bug Out, the 940 Osborne, but, and the Full Immunity, but I love Swap joints particularly, not just Benjamin, swap joints generally. So I was quite excited to get my hands on the Weekender, which is a UK legal, i.e. non-locking and blade under three inches, uh, swap joint folder with Macarta, kind of all of drab green type uh, scales, and a little, there we are, a little bottle opener as well. Look at that. Oh, technology these days, bottle openers and everything. So you've got two uh, blades on this, your typical a pen blade, which is sort of a spear point type design. Yeah, is it a drop point or spear point? Spear point ish thing, and then a kind of a clip point uh, blade there. The grind is sort of like a high saber hollow, higher, higher than a hollow grind, probably a saber. Um, uh, half stop on your blade there as well. Look, oh, look at that, all the mod cons, and this little. Bottle opener, which is, yeah, terrific. You yeah, can open the odd bottle. Macarta feels fantastic. I'm a big fan of Macarta anyway. Um, I like how it wears in over the years. I like how it feels in the hand. And the fit and finish is, is excellent, which is, you know, pretty good. Good for a bench mate. Right, let's get to the controversial bit. Controversial bit. It's not worth the price. No point beating around the bush. It is not worth the bench made price. Google how much this costs. It is not worth it. It's, it's a slip joint knife. It's... And it's of a fit and finish on a par with a £50 knife. Does it cut well? Cut excellent. Does it fit in your pocket well? Fits excellently. Is it comfortable to use? I cut up lots and lots and lots of recycling with this this week. And I was at it maybe 15 minutes. I'd let all the boxes pile up and I thought I'll make a wee test of you know getting used to this guy. So I've had it a few weeks and I've just been doing little bits with it. Let's get used to it, you know? No. No, it's not comfortable in the hand. It digs and it rubs and it's, you know, there are hot spots. No, it's just not worth what Benchmade charge for it. Does it look cool? Yes. Is it a classic style? Yes. Is it a kind of a modern take on a traditional knife? Yes. Very much like the Benchmade proper, which I'm a huge fan of and I reviewed a few weeks ago and I carry all the time. Don't get this. If you're looking at this and the proper, get the proper. If you're looking at this and you want a traditional, modern swap joint, get a cheaper one. Not because this is bad. It's not bad. It's really nice. But it's not worth the money. The money is too big for what this is. Unless money's no object to you and you're just a huge Benchmade fan, collector and all this kind of stuff, then go ahead and buy it. Do you, you know, do you. Don't listen to me. But for me, the bang for buck just isn't isn't all that. It's it's a swap joint folder with Macarthur scales. It's not it's not two hundred and sixty pounds or whatever worth of value for me. Uh, well, last few years, yeah, sure, but so have Victorinox for sixty pounds with more tools on it, and you can give that to your kids when you pass away. So is it cool? Yes, absolutely. Do I like it? Yes, absolutely. Would I recommend it as value for money? No, absolutely not. So there you go. Make your own minds up. Buy it, don't buy it. But if you do buy it, you're paying the butterfly tax. Take care.